Uh, Honorable uh, Sam, how do you feel how to further strengthen the relationship between Pakistan and the United Kingdom? Look, I think the biggest opportunity is cooperation around trade. Okay. Um, I represent, like NAS does, a very large Pakistani diaspora community. Um, we've been jointly campaigning, for example, um, for the return of Pakistan International Airlines to Heathrow for direct flights and, of course, to Manchester as well. Because at the moment, you know, that is a hindrance to business exactly. because you have to have longer stopovers. We've been working with the Pakistan High Commission on that particular project and we're hoping for positive news on that front later this month because many people have businesses excuse me excuse me you are making a very big statement you know which concerns all of us as pakistanis who usually travel to the uk or even for the business world you you are saying that we will be hearing a good news of resumption of PIA flights okay. to London and Manchester. I'm feeling more optimistic than I did one year ago. So okay. when I was the Shadow Transport Minister, I met with the Executive Director of Heathrow mm. and also with the, uh, uh, the Aviation uh, Minister in the British Government to actually talk about this mm. because actually it was stopping businesses grow in Ilford. We have many people, whether it be in property or accountancy or a range of other fields who have both businesses based in East London and based in Islamabad or Lahore or Karachi. And actually that extra time, maybe a five or six hours delay, means that it's more difficult to do business because it's more time, less time, you know, and time is money. So the more time you're traveling, the less time you're able to be spending, you know, of your family or, or, or running the business successfully. So it is a really in, important thing. So that's, that's the number one sort of area I see for okay. cooperation. Number two, I would say, is around uh, climate change. You know, we've seen obviously the terrible floods that have impacted Pakistan. And I know that in Naz's and my constituency, people raise hundreds of thousands of pounds to send here to Pakistan in a very short amount of time. But, you know, we need to be honest, why were those floods so severe? There are definitely some elements of climate change being part of that. And I think that actually the technological advances that the UK is making, mm -hmm. we need to be working and sharing them with Pakistan. And that is an opportunity to grow our, our, our industries in manufacturing and a whole range of other areas. So that's where I would like to see uh, some initial further cooperation. So I'm happy that climate change is on the agenda of the cooperation.